subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Good day to you, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We are doing our first event session for the World's Strongest Man 2021 prep. So, what have we got, Tom? What are we doing today? Firstly, we are doing that blue thing in the corner, Viking press. Then we are doing keg for height. Then we are doing front hold. Then we are doing some slide drags. My body is battered from squatting yesterday. My lun the lunges, my legs are... Good, that's how we should be feeling. And I had to do some walking today because it's walking for autism for the next eight days. So guys, get supported. So we're gonna do our first event training session here. Tomorrow we're gonna go up to the warehouse. We've got other bits and pieces to do. Hopefully this will be a good one. Again, it's a bit more of a lighter session to now. We don't know what's in the world, so we're doing dumbbells, we're doing Viking press, we're doing axle press, we're doing log. Um, basically all uh, variations of pressing, so we're, we're, we're covered. We're, again, full package, that's what we're looking for. So this is our Viking press. Um, we've got a, a rest that kind of goes up and down, so we're just gonna change the height. So if this is in worlds, we'd imagine it'd be facing out the way, so pressing this way. So we're going to be pressing like that as opposed to facing oh, in on it. So I'll uh, I'll just lift this up and Tom can alter the... Put it down on it, so yeah. we'll see. So just find it much your heads. Uh. Good. Might put it, I'll keep it that height because some Viking presses you have to really get under as well. Like the ones that it's like foreign eddy, their Viking press had to get right under, then hit it up. So I might practice that as well to go lower instead of just having it at my own height. How the heck do you do this? I'm gonna double dip. Hey! So, what's, what's the rules with the Viking press, Tom? So, you're not meant to double dip, so it's meant to just be a like a push press. You're not meant to go. Yeah. <laughs> For those people that don't know what double dipping is, can you show us? So double dip is basically, so this is a push press. That's yeah. what you're meant to do. Double dip is when you dip, push and dip again. If that is correct. Luke Stockman. Is that right? Yeah, it's good left. No, is that a double dip? Yes. So yeah, I still always say a double dip. If you're here, and you're like that. Oh, is that? Yeah, so. So when, when you're pressing, your, your knees should walk out and then press. You can't go, and then press, okay, yeah. yeah? So. So, you have to so it's a double, a double knee dip, if that makes sense. Okay, I thought it was a double arm dip. Oh, you can, you can come, your arms can come down as many times as you want. As long as your knees don't kind of jolt, jolt too many times. You have to lock out, you have to, your lock, legs have to be locked out before you press them on your head. No, your really. Your knees just have to be bent once. Yeah, so you can't bend and then bend again. Yeah. 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 Blue on blue, baby! The 2 one, 2 How heavy is that frame without the weights? Uh, probably about, let's see. Depends, 20 to 30 kilos, I'd say, not much more than that. Yeah, I just feel it's that. Yeah. For the Viking press, again, this is more just a feeler at the moment. Um, we're going to stick just stick with a 20 each side and do three sets of eight with that. Um, Tom's going to give me the down signal on each lift. Um, make sure my feet are under control, knees are locked out, arms are locked out. So every every single rep we're getting is good. So it's good rep, good rep, and so on and so forth. So we'll do three sets of this and then move on to the next. Implement. Will you give me a down signal each? Well, so I just tilt down, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, just shouting. So it. is it? Walk out and every, make knees stable and everything. If I'm wobbling like that, then it's not a good. Alright. Yeah. Three, two, one, lift. Down. Down. 
Tom. 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 It's ten. I was wondering what you were doing. That's why it's slowed down. Don't. 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 Three, two, one, go. Down. 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 Eight. Six. No left. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Any six, you did a double. Not even locking her. Down. 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 Very nice, Tommy boy. Three, it be? two, one, go. Down. 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 Three, two, one. Down. 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 Eleven seconds. Everybody. Front holes. Right guys, so that's Viking press done, three sets of eight. Nice and comfy to get used to the exercise again. Look, how did it Ooh. go for you? Hey. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Uh, I think it's nice for having the down signal, obviously, you shouting that. Miscounted a couple of times, but uh, yeah, it felt comfortable. And yourself, big boy? Yeah, same. Uh, you can't really tell much until we get to heavier weights, yeah. but it's good to get the technique and the down, down signal so we know how long to hold at the top, etc. So, as long as we're doing the technique and the movement right to show then we can increase as we go. So I think we'll aim to probably do another 20 next week maybe, throw or whatever. Uh, we'll just go up is. each week, 5, 10 k's, whatever. So you know. I think eventually we'll have three twenties each side and that'll be around comp weight. Um, Especially if we can do it for more than one set, you know, like even like three sets of eight at three twenties a side would be, that's a big weight, that's 24 reps. So, so, so next we are going on to like that, uh, the forward hold. So we're doing 12 and a half kilo dumbbell, just holds out in front. So it's 12 and a half k dumbbell, and we're doing three sets for one minute. Yeah, that's uh, what we're aiming for. So. Yeah, because we used to do in training a lot of just getting to the comp weight and trying to hold it, <laughs> and holding it for like 20 seconds the first set, then fatiguing like that. So in this, we're going to try and build up every week. So 12.5 for three sets of one minute. Next week, up more. Next week, up and then we'll maybe try the sword or the hammer and see if it's going to help with the shoulder kind of endurance and stuff so hopefully it works easy let's get going stop watch at the ready normally we'd be doing it against a pole um so then you can kind of get your watts back and you can get a bit more of a an arch in your back but normally the referee they want to see your shoulder blades and your bum against the the pole so touching at all times and usually implement they want to see it kind of in line with your nose or your eyes so kind of like that don't bend your arms that's a that's a way of cheating if you bend your arms you're taking it in closer to your body um, so you want to kind of keep them as straight as you can my arms aren't as straight as normal um, but uh, a couple of tips that some we do sometimes is if you lean it back in your wrist Sometimes you can get away with a few seconds in that, and again that takes the weight back to you. As Tom touched on, um, rather than going into the heavy comp weight, we're training up our muscles, our, our, our little kind of mini kind of delt muscles, um, all the little um, supporting muscle groups that we need to build up in order for it to be able to take that heavy load. So if we do this every week and build it up, up until comp. Three, two, one, go. Right. You know what I went there to me? To a spirit animal. 
What'd you see? Donkey. A wolf. How'd it go? It's just a mental thing, it's needing to switch off and and not thinking about you, know, you get shaky quite straight away and that, but it was okay. Two, one, go. Ten. That wasn't nice. That was nasty. Thanks guys, eh? Front hold's done. That was brutal man, I never trained it like that, so three sets of one minute, like Luke said, with a minute rest is oof, fatigues up there with gee, I can't even raise my arms man. <laughs> so uh but it's good, we're training as hard as we can and making it harder for ourselves. So now we're on to keg toss. So we've got our keg at the moment it's sitting at 15 kilos, so we're gonna do we'll help her here, Tom. It's gonna be nice and steady with the water. Let's see if this well, don't, don't spill anything. Why don't you keep it in here? Oh. Hey, you've done that before. Nailed it. Boom! 18 on the money! We're going to go with 18 kilo for basically max height today, so we're going to do some weight for height technique. The pump is gone now, so we can now do some throws and stuff, so it was all good. So we're going to move on to a different location now, if you follow us, I will see you there. So guys, we are here in our new uh, space, it's called The Grass. Uh, we are doing six sing singles of kegs. Luke's going to throw it, I'm going to throw it back, back and forth six times, and then boom, job done. It is 18 kilograms filled with sand and water, let's see how it goes. So we're going to do reverse sled drags, which is facing the sled and dragging back. I don't know if we're going to do it with a rope or with body weight. So we're going to load it up heavy. <laughs> like Malcolm's demonstrating. Like, come on. And then uh, we're going to do three sets, just up and down. Let's do this. So we've got the mirror fit sled. We're going to load that up. Probably chuck them 220s on it. And then, so up, up there is 15 meters. So we'll move the sled back. 15 meters, then Tom will pull it back, I'll pull it down, and we'll do that three times. And then that is the event session 
Finished. Finished. I am done with you events. I am done. Should I go on it as well? Not the first set. Ah, you're too much. Go. Yep. Oh, snowy. How did you do this? Just. Simon, is that fun? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Father and son. It's nice. Hey <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> right guys, so that was our three sets of 15 done. So we put on uh, 220 kilo plates and then it was a little bit light so we threw Simon on top as well. Simon weighs about 130 kilos so it's quite heavy. Um, yeah, I could really feel it in my quads, my glutes doing that. That was really good actually. Um, it wasn't a super heavy event session today but Again, we're going through the motions now. Um, so that's the first week. Next week, we're picking up again weight-wise. Tomorrow, we've got an event session as well, which is going to be a bit more strenuous, I think. Um, so yeah, it's all about kind of getting fatigued, and then tomorrow, I think we're going to hit log, do some stones and stuff. So hopefully, we'll be. I'm hoping this will replicate the competition environment. So obviously, when we're competing, especially World Strongest Man. Every day we're competing, every day we're feeling fatigued and time we're tired, so this is what we're trying to replicate, so hopefully it'll work. This is tough. So guys, event session, numero uno finished. It was just a nice wee technique explosive session today, so ready for the big one on Saturday. Da, da, da. So hopefully we're just saying we're going like feeling quite fatigued for that, yeah. which will replicate. Worlds. I think it's also important is how we recover. That's what like that's why we're doing this as well because we're pretending this is like we've just got to the finals. So it how depends how we recover now from say the qualifier to the final, how we wake up tomorrow, how we eat tonight, sleep tonight, etc. So this will be really kind of getting drilled into our head as well. So of everything that we're going to be doing. So, yeah. Easy. Anyway. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please keep ringing that little bell. Ding dong. Ding 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 ding. ding.